10th of May this year, which is tomorrow, is the most auspicious of all the days in astrology, in our Vedic calendar, and it's known as Akshay Tritya. Tritya is the Tithi, which is the third lunar day, and Akshay means that which does not get destroyed, that which never perishes. So, it means anything that you do in this day is imperishable, including the good and the bad. <laughs> All right, so here are 10 things that you need to do or you can do if you wish, if you want to, if you can, which can benefit you immensely during Akshay Tritya. All right, so here is number one. But before that, what is Akshay Tritya? Akshay Tritya is the day when sun and moon are both in their exaltation signs, okay? And Tritya Tithi, of course. <laughs> So now, the first thing that you can do, which traditionally people always do, is, you know, you can buy gold because uh, buying gold is considered very auspicious in general. And specifically, if you buy during this time, of course, gold prices are soaring. <laughs> but if you can, then uh, please go ahead. It is considered very auspicious. The, the blessings of uh, the devatas and uh, Lord Vishnu himself is, uh, is considered to come in your life. It, it said, you know, that appears when you buy gold, okay? So, you can buy this for your jewelry or as a long-term investment or for your marriage, wedding, whatever, but in general, if you can, then you should buy, okay? Number two, you can start any new venture. So, you know, you want to start your YouTube channel, or you want to start something like, you know, writing a book or anything, you know, like uh, anything that requires a kickoff. Okay, so very good time for you to start something because whatever you start on this day will have the energy of the two exaltation or two exalted luminaries, the sun and the moon. So therefore, you need to understand that whatever you do or whatever you start uh, on this day, 10th, it will have long-term benefits, okay? So therefore, uh, if you if you have any plans, okay, you want to start something here, there, this, that, well, then Akshay Tritya is the day, okay? Number three, you can make other investments, like, you know, buying land or buying gold, as I said, you know, you can also, you know, sometimes people also go to stock market, they buy stocks, or you can buy other metals also. So, because if you do investments on this day, then uh, it is possible that uh, in the long run, they can quadruple, okay? So therefore, if you want to in, uh, harness the power of compound interest, which people always say the financial influencer, the finfluencers, <laughs> always keep saying the glories of compound interest, then yes, Akshatitya is the day. Number four, very important. Please give some charity. It doesn't matter whom you give, where you give, how much you give. It doesn't matter. But whatever you give on Akshatitya will come back to you 100,000 million billion times back. Okay. Of course, uh, this is something you should keep in back of your mind and you should not take this literally, which means, you know, you should not do donations just because you are going to get returns. But... If you want the th theory, then yes, it is stated in the scripture that whatever you give will come back to you many folds, okay? <clears throat> so, even if you cannot give charity of uh, your wealth, you can, you know, uh, invite somebody to your house and, you know, you can feed them something. <clears throat> that is also like a charity, you know, you can do anadan. Or if you have something old in your home which you are not using, you can uh, give it to somebody who will... Who, needs it or if you can't then uh, you can still do some charity of your time okay if somebody needs your your time and energy and attention you can give it to that person okay so either ways uh, it, it is auspicious to give something number five you can do worship of goddess lakshmi so you can go to any lakshmi Narayan temple and you can do some worship there okay uh, worshipping Lakshmi ji, especially uh, on Akshay Tritya, is considered very, very, very auspicious. And Lakshmi ji, as you know, is the goddess of fortune. She's the goddess of fortune, which makes things better in your life. So, if you feel that, you know, you are stuck in some area of life and you are not able to move ahead, 
know, professionally or you are not getting married or whatever, you know, you're not able to find a match or things are not just working for you, then you can go her, go to her and request her blessings. And, and to the degree she feels it is appropriate and to the degree it's there in your karma, she will fulfill your desire. Okay. Number six, very, very, very important. Do some Vishnu Puja also along with Lakshmi Puja. Just don't do uh, Lakshmi Puja alone. <clears throat> uh, see, this is what we see from the Ramayana. Uh, Sita Devi is not different from Lakshmi Ji, right? So Ravana wanted Sita Devi without Ram. But Hanuman wanted Sita Devi with Ram. Okay, that is the difference. So many times people just they do Lakshmi Puja. You know, that is not very good because if you just do Lakshmi Puja, you may get wealth, but then that wealth will make you just make you more materialistic. You know, there's nothing great that happens after a while. So uh, do worship of Narayan also uh, chant. You can chant, you know, Om Namo Narayana, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. You can chant the Hare Krishna Mahamantra, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. You can uh, also chant Om Namo Bhagavate Narsimhaya. You can also chant Om Namo Bhagavate Shri Vamanaya. So these are mantras you can chant. Uh, you can also do some fasting, okay? This is also very important on Akshay Tritya. Number seven, you can you can start your marriage proceedings or maybe many, there are many people who are getting married on Akshay Tritya as always. <clears throat> uh, but uh, if, if you are not married and you are in a relationship and you want to, you know, you want to take things to the next level. So suppose you both have decided you want to marry. Now you want to involve your families. Then maybe this is the day you let your parents talk to each other. Okay. Now, at least if you're in India, in India, that's how it happens. So that's what you can do. Or many times people, they meet on Akshay Tritya, right? Meet in the sense, you know, the families meet and they finalize the marriage. So irrespective of where you are, uh, it is a good time to uh, build, you know, long-term associations. You know, and marriage is one of them very important. Number eight, you can do Bhumi Puja. Okay, so worship of the land, this also includes, you know, Griha Pravesh and all this. So if you are uh, planning to uh, like buy some real estate for yourself or for investment purposes, this is a very good day. You can, you know, go out to scout properties or if you have already taken, you can sign the registry, you know, that <clears throat> deed and all this on that day. Um, or you can, you know, finalize, give your word to the bro broker or the builder or whoever that, yes, this is what I'm taking or you transfer the money or whatever, you know. So, so some something to do with land, you can do that is also considered to be very auspicious. And of course, if you already have taken a house, then congratulations uh, from my side. And maybe you can do uh, the <clears throat> Bhumi Puja, uh, not Bhumi Puja, sorry, the Griha Pravesh. Okay, so that that is also something which many, many, many people do. Number nine. You can take a trip to a holy place and especially take a holy dip in, in the holy rivers like Ganga, Jamuna, Sariu, Kaveri, Godavari, Nar Narmada. So many rivers are there, right? So you can take a holy dip and purify yourself and get rid of your sins, provided you promise not to do them again, right? So it should not be like uh, you do some sin, come to Ganga and you again go back and do the same sin. You know, Ganga Devi is a mother. She is very loving and compassionate, but she is not a fool. Okay, So if you uh, want that you get forgiveness for your sins, then you have to go to the Ganga and before you dip, you have to promise that I will not do it again. Only then there is any benefit. Otherwise, it's of not much use. Okay, But nonetheless... <laughs> if you can then please go okay take take a holy dip and you will be benefited number 10 most important you should engage in some spiritual activities like you know you can read the Mahabharata, the bhagavad gita Srimad bhagavatam you can read the ramayan you, know, you can read about akshatritya you can read about parshuram you can read about you know dhanvantari the samudra manthan lila so many other things you can read, you know, like Akshatitya itself is like a culmination of so many holy things that have happened. So you can read it historically, culturally, religiously or spiritually uh, from a perspective of enlightenment. Okay. So the best thing is, you know, uh, on this day, uh, get up early in the morning, uh, take a nice bath in cold water and do your mantras, do your spiritual practices. 
do it double. So if you are chanting one mala, then chant two malas or four malas. If you are chanting four, then try to chant four, uh, eight or 16 or 12 at least. You know, so try to fast till uh, sunset if possible or at least till the noon. And yeah, try to not take uh, onion, garlic, try to not take meat and av avoid watching adult material in the internet or indulging in any sexual activity or any intoxication. So keep yourself pure and keep yourself receptive for this uh, amazing day to come and impact you positively. All right. So thank you so much for your patience. Wish you all the best. And I am sure and I hope that you can use this day very positively. Okay. Take care. Jai Shri Ram.